Welcome to Imrus Adventurous. I give my love a cherry that had no stone. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. <laughs> I give my love a chicken that had no bones. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't fall down! <laughs> You'll improve with practice. Da, 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 da. Hi guys, this is uh, Shinji72 here, this is uh, Emoru Solitude episode 10, finally, I'm sorry I've waited uh, quite a lot to upload this video, but uh, uh, the last week I've been quite busy with uh, real life, but I hope to regain a good pace in the, in the coming days. So, as you remember in the last episode, we were trying to help a lot of people to become a new fane, and I think we have uh, got it, but there was also another requirement to buy a property, and this is it. Proud Spine Manor. Oh, okay, very nice. <laughs> uh, it's called Proud Spire Manor, uh, it seems to become a thing you have to own a property in the old, uh, and so we have to invest quite a lot of money in this, uh, in this, uh, this property, but uh, there is nothing left, uh, I think uh, Ilya is quite broke by now, and we have no money left to, to refurbish the interiors, but anyway... Now, I think it's time to become a fan, then we will deal with our economic problems. Uh, first of all, uh, let's dress something more appropriate for the occasion. Et voila! The Colovian... Uh, the Colovian fine clothes. Okay, very nice, and maybe also a change of hairstyle. Like this. Et voilà. I think it's pretty nice. Let's go. And here is she. Your Grace. It's a fine day with you around. Uh, I've helped our, your people as you asked. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Hafengar. Congratulations. <gasps> I grant you a personal house, Carl, to watch over your home and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. <gasps> the Blade of Alfingar. Your grace, we will be forever your loyal servants. Be well. Pray for solitude Sh and uh, my husband. Your grace! <laughs> what are you doing, your grace? What's up? Oh god. Anyway, finally, finally we have become a thing of solitude, but I don't like so much this Oscar stuff, uh, because, you know, we like our privacy, so... <gasps> oh god, but is a she, and she's beautiful. Ilya, let's go back to thank Lady Elisif once more. My Lady Elisif, you are beautiful today. Yes, hello. Lady Elisif, it is good to see you. There are some issues we must speak about. Ah, uh, certainly. As always, uh, I'll provide what service I can, milady, since now I'm also your twin. That's generous of you to say. You're a good friend. Ah, friend, anyway. so... Sadly, I haven't been well lately. You are unwell? I've taken a sickly. I'm pretty bad off. Have you consulted the healers? It can't be helped. Huh? There's nothing anyone can do. More's the pity. What is this illness you have? I don't know. I would light. Poison. Magic from darker circles. 
Hmm? My health fails. <gasps> A blot on your life? Assassins, I'd suspect. The Black Sacrament. The Stormcloaks. Who knows? Danger could be anywhere. This is the way the Jarls are buried in Skyrim. <gasps> Tell me of these uh, illness. The sky is so dark. My eyes go blind. Vision chills me to the bones. What is this vision you see? What I see is a woman, dead. <gasps> Murdered in cold blood. She looks like me. <laughs> This woman, she looks like you, but uh, she's not you? No. She's dead in a wedding dress. A wedding dress? It's been a nightmare. It hardly matters, though. I will die. It seems I will never take my rightful place as High Queen. My only concern is for the morale of our people in this difficult time. Your death will not add to the people's morale, milady. You saw my dead husband, Torig. Tell me what he said. Uh, he said I should watch over you. He said he loves you and regrets you are alone. Well, at least I have you now. I can see why he wanted you for me. <sighs> Having you here, it's as if he never died. Uh, are those your true feelings about me? I make no secret of it. <gasps> Look at me ramble. I'll do what I can. I'm not prepared to let you join a Torig in death. It's just jet. <laughs> Thank you. I'm afraid I don't hold out much hope for success. No, no, you have. Uh, uh, now I think it's better to talk with uh, Sibyl, uh, the card mage. Uh, mm. Codlack White Mane has been laid to rest, I know. <gasps> oh, oh god. Forever in the halls of Sovereign. Let's go. Ah, here she is. Sibyl. Nobody wants to have any fun with me. <laughs> well, we did. Uh, Sibyl, are you aware Elisif is dying? This. This is some dark magic. It has to be. I'm going to find whoever did this. You and me both. Do you have any leads for me? According to my scrying, there's some trouble nearby. Maybe you should take a look there. Hmm? It's inside a cave. I think you'll want to investigate. Which cave? I'll take a look. How are you holding up? I'm so tired. I've been working for a while now. Hmm? Are you hungry? You know, I'm always hungry. Don't worry. I'll eat when I need to. Oh, God. Uh, very well. Let me know if you require a drink of me. <laughs> oh, if you insist. Oh, God. See you around, my love. What do you need, love? Ask uh, okay. anything. I, I thought he, she was going to buy the alien now. Solitude wouldn't be the same That's without good the fire because festival. City owes you the here is not it's a little bit too much in the public eye, I would say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now she's going. Um, let me think what we should do. Ah, yes. Let's go back. Okay, let's say a few words with Elizabeth. If you have maybe. business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. But this is about you. Milady, I'm going to investigate a cave. I've got a lead. We have got a lead. It may be related to this illness. Thank you. You've been a great help to me. I do worry, though. You mean a lot to me. Please, take your house, Carl. I insist. My house, Carl? Jordis the Sword Maiden? She's someone I can trust. Someone who can help. A bodyguard to protect you. As you wish, my lady. Good hunting. Hmm, okay, our Jarl wants us to, to go with uh, your descend. Okay, she is the Jarl, right? I 
I've been looking for you. What Got something this? I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Inheritance? Oh, sorry for your loss. My Looks loss? like that's it. Got to go. Oh, God. What happened? Who is that? Lydia. You are here. Let me see. Uh, letter of inheritance. Elia Beneo Yarelis the Fear. It is with great regret that to inform you of your... Of... Yours dead? Yours? I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. He's dead? Oh god. Um, he's dead? Why? How? Anyway. Oh god. I can be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. I I suppose we were. I didn't. I didn't know we were friends actually. But so, oh God, where is the house now? Ah, proud spine manor. Okay. So you're this. I am your sword and your shield. House, Carl. What do you need, my Thane? Hmm... Uh, house, Carl, I have news to discuss. Yes, my Thane? Lady Elisif has uh, taken sick, a dark, and unnatural disease. Oh, so terrible. When will these dark times be over? Uh, I know. There is a cave I'm going to look into. It may have some clue about this. Not without me, you aren't. Ah, okay. Lady Elisif expects me to keep an eye out for you. Oh, yes, Lady Elisif requested you accompany me. Lady Elisif gave me to you. My job is to keep you safe. Ah, indeed. And uh, why would that be? Didn't you know? Milady's very fond of you. Ah, I do. But how would you know about that house car? The same as everyone else? Anyone can see it. Elisif so obviously in love. <laughs> really? And there's rumors of late that the spirit of High King Torig gave you his blessing to love and comfort his widow. Uh, it's true he did speak to me, but I am not her late husband, Torik. Well, she thinks you are. <laughs> For Milady's sake, let's hope that'll do. Okay, come on, Oscar. Let's uh, see if this cave holds any cure for what ails Elisif. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Okay. I'd better get going. And what about you, Lydia? Hello, my love. Okay. I Let's get going then. I hope you. Long life will to go, you, Thane. We'll go along together. Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Calipers? What do you need, my Thane? Oh, not calipers. My love, let's cherish the time we have for now. <gasps> okay, later maybe. Okay, what Yordis, do you need, follow my me. Thane? Okay, Yordis, follow me. Looks like you've already got someone with you. Ah, oh, there is a problem. Mm, okay. Let me know if you have anything you need from me. I'm at your service. Are you... I don't think you will like this. As you wish, Let's my see, thing. maybe just uh, just wait here. Maybe it will work. Honored to see you again. Looks like you've already got someone with you. <laughs> That's not enough. We heading out? It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. Uh, back home, back to White Run. Okay. Uh, I am your see. sword and your shield. Okay, follow Lead the me way. Now. And here we are. We are on the coast of the ghost sea. And to be honest with you, I'd hoped uh, that Lydia would have uh, resisted more, but uh, she just left without saying a word. What do you think, Elia? Mm. Ah, yes, I know. But we have a new house, Carl. She, she doesn't seem quite comfortable, by the way. And this is uh, the cave. Uh, what 
what we will find inside of it. There are some uh, some boats uh, on the outside. There are people. We don't know, but just to be sure. Okay, you're this. Are you ready? Still here. <laughs> Lead on. She don't see so brave as Lydia, but anyway. Hmm. Okay, clearly there are people inside. Maybe smugglers, pirates. I don't know. Ah. It looks like the, the entrance there has been a kind of. Uh, all the rocks came falling down on that ship. Quite unfortunate. So let me see. It seems there is nobody around. What's that? Ah, there is someone. Let's go and see. Are you ready? Okay, are you following me? this guy you're this uh, no. Bob change his gun oh no you're this is down oh go 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 oh let me see I think oh no 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 that's that's all you got that's that's nice uh, I, I'm down. afraid yes Damn you! No! Oh god, who are this guy? No! So guys, episode 10 ends here with uh, quite uh, the cliffhanger. Why there are Forsworn in this cave? Uh, they are plotting against Elisif. Why? And above all, will Elia and Yordis uh, be able to overcome the odds in this fight? Looking from the first encounter, it doesn't seem very likely. But we'll see in next episode, episode 11. This was Shinji72. Thank you for watching. Sorry again for the delay. I, I promise next episode will come a lot sooner. See you next for the next video. Bye. And if you enjoy, of course, subscribe to this channel. Bye again.